Hola chicos, espero que se encuentren muy bien en sus casas. Esta semana 3 estamos aprendiendo acerca de las características de los animales y cómo estas características de, lo, de, de los animales les, los ayudan a sobrevivir en, en, su, en su ambiente. Voy a empezar con el vocabulario. Entonces en este momento vamos a cambiar nuestro canal. So, uh, this week we're going to learn about animal characteristics, how animals have physical adaptations to help them survive in their environment. So, physical characteristics and the vocabulary is physical characteristics. It's a feature or trait that can be seen. Basic needs. Basic needs is something a living thing needs to survive, like space, nutrients, water, shelter, and energy. Behavior. The action of a living thing. Now, I'm going to show you a video that it will help you to learn more about animal characteristics. To meet their basic needs, animals have developed special features called adaptations. The fins of fish and the flippers of underwater mammals, such as dolphins and whales, help them swim and maintain their balance. Ducks, penguins, and frogs do not live in the water, but spend a lot of time in or near water. What physical adaptations do they have to help them move through water? They have webbed feet that help them move through water with little effort. Webbed feet also help them find food and escape when in danger. Ducks and penguins are both birds, but ducks can do something penguins cannot do. They can fly. What physical adaptations do birds have for flying? Birds have wings that help them fly. How does being able to fly help birds survive? Wings help birds find shelter and escape from danger. They also help them in finding food and water. Some animals that live on land have hooves. Hooves help animals, such as mountain goats and elks, walk easily on rocky or hard ground. Giraffes and horses also have hooves that protect their feet and help them run fast. Animals like squirrels climb trees to find shelter and to escape danger. They have very sharp nails, called claws, on their feet that help them climb. Badgers use their sharp claws to burrow in the ground for shelter. Body covering is another physical adaptation. It plays an important role in protection. Let us look at how body coverings help these animals. Mammals have fur or hair to keep them warm. A polar bear has a thick white fur coat to keep it warm in the cold Arctic. What kind of body covering do birds have? Birds have feathers covering their bodies. Feathers protect birds from seasonal changes. What type of body covering do these animals have? Lizards, turtles, crocodiles, and snakes have rough, dry scales for protection. 
Scales also help animals like snakes to move. Look at these animals. They have different physical adaptations for getting and eating their food. Bears, lions, and cheetahs use their sharp claws to catch and tear the flesh of other animals. Their sharp teeth help them to eat meat. Plant-eating animals have flat, scissor-like teeth to chop grass and leaves. The claws of hawks and eagles are called talons. They are used to catch and eat small animals. Hawks and eagles do not have teeth, but have sharp beaks that they use to tear meat. Other birds, such as macaws and some finches, use their large beaks that are shaped like nutcrackers to crack open nuts. Physical adaptations are features that help animals meet their basic needs in their environments. Physical adaptations increase an animal's chances of survival. Okay guys, so we are doing here the next question. Okay, can you answer? Can you name some physical characteristics of a cat? Hmm. Some physical characteristics are fur, long tails, sharp teeth, pointy ears, fur colors, claws, Could you identify at least three animals that have eyes? Dogs, tigers, birds. Which type? Which types of animals need wings to help them move? Birds, bats, insects, owls. So here I had kind of activity. So match the animal body part that, I mean, sorry, match the animal body part to how it is used to help the animals such as moving, eating, or surviving. So, the hooves of a horse helps it move. A chameleon's color helps it survive. An anteater tongue helps it eat. Identify what body part helps this Texas longhorn move, eat, and survive. The legs help the longhorn to move. The teeth help it to eat, and the horns help it to survive. Okay guys, now please switch your channel again and I'm going to do like a review. So, lo que hemos aprendido en este momento es las, acerca de las características físicas de los animales 
o cómo esas adaptaciones físicas ayudan a los animales a poder sobrevivir en su ambiente, cómo ellos utilizan esas adaptaciones o características físicas para poder conseguir alimento, para poder eh, defenderse de los depredadores, para poder moverse de un lugar a otro. Que espero que este video les haya servido, hayan aprendido, hayan entendido un poco más acerca de las características o adaptaciones físicas de los animales. Nos vemos pronto. Bye, bye.